habitating. We're ready. All right, six o'clock. Um, call the meeting to order. This is an emergency meeting of the Town Council of Batesburg Louisville. It's April 6, 2020, 6 p.m. Um, at the Batesburg Louisville Town Hall Complex. Um, certainly, we are operating underneath uh, uh, emergency times um, with COVID 19 and uh, some items that have been brought up. And, and thank you, Mr. Kane, for, for bringing some of this to Council from, from uh, the uh, townspeople. Um, H tax, uh, some thoughts on business license, uh, virtual meetings, utility billing, um, all items for discussion. At this time, I'm going to turn it, the meeting over to the attorney. Um, kind of pre prepared some ideas here. Um, what I did was I took the emails that um, we were sending in requesting the meeting and <coughs> um, put together a uh, emergency order number two. Um, and basically, the, the whereas are pretty much the same as we're in the previous one about the governor and the ongoing crisis. We get down below now, therefore, be it resolved. Um, the first one, I'll just go through them one by one. If y'all have anything you want to talk about, stop me. If you're okay with what's in there, hopefully, we'll do one vote on the ordinance and get out of here in, in five minutes. Um, the first one is it says the Bexford Relief Hospital is suspended. Beginning April 13, 2020, no further amount shall be collected by food service providers. All amounts collected prior to the suspension are due and payable immediately. The hospitality tax shall resume and be in full force and effect on June 5, 2020, and that is a Monday that is the closest to the 60-day deadline. You can't do this more than 60 days at a time. So that's what that date comes from. Any questions on that one? The only thing I'll throw out there is some other towns, what the some other government entities are doing is they're not stopping the hospitality tax. What they're doing is they're letting the restaurants not pay the hospitality tax in. I think that's more problematic than doing this because basically what that's doing is letting the restaurant use the money that is actually tax money that they're holding. Mm -hmm. And it's like a loan and you're not supposed to do that. So that's even more <clears throat> problematic than doing what this does. But what about the ones that's closed, though, uh, Chris? Well, 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 they're not taking any in. <clears throat> so they won't be. Exactly. So if there's no money collected, if there's, there's no money no collected, there's nothing to pay. What this is saying is, is if you've taken money in because it starts Friday, we've we're, we got to have some time in here for, I'm sorry, I forgot, Jay. I'm sorry. But the problem is the staff has got to be able to send letters out because some of these are going to have to go to some corporate headquarters. And so what we're doing is starting this on Friday is when the, the tax actually stops. And so there's going to be some money that's going to come in between now and Friday that will be due and payable Friday by the restaurants. And then they won't be charging any more after that for 60 days. Five that makes days. sense? It's 60 days from today because that's the longest you can do an emergency order. So the, the actual date that it would start back up is June the 5th. Okay, but if something happens and it's still... Y'all come back and do another ordinance. Okay. You can't do an emergency ordinance for longer than 60 days. Okay, so in 60 days, if it's still messed up out here... Then you come back and we have another meeting. Okay. And hopefully another one of these is going to make that easier. Because I, I put some other stuff in here that I thought would help this problem with us get together. For okay. How does that affect the consumer? Does it? The, 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 the best way to explain the hospitality tax is just like sales tax. It's a flow through. The restaurant takes it in just like sales tax. Instead of sending sales tax to the state, they send sales tax, to, I mean, the, the hospitality tax to the town. Mm -hmm. It's cutting 2% off of what they've been paying. They, yeah, then they have to be <clears throat> careful that they actually are Take notified that they're not collecting a tax that's going into their pocket. And that's why it would end up in a class action lawsuit. Right. So if they, if somebody after Friday is still taking this money in, they could probably be sued for it because the town is stopping it as of Friday. So it doesn't benefit the restaurants. They aren't. The restaurants aren't getting more money out of this. This is for the people. We encourage the restaurants. The this is never the restaurants' money. That's Monday the 13th. It's Monday the 13th. I'm sorry, not Friday. Monday the 13th. We stopped Monday the 13th through June the 5th. 
So does that, does that make the merchants uh, lower their prices? or They have to, just like with sales taxes, mm -hmm. it gets added on at the end, mm -hmm. they have to take that add on off, that 2% two, that two off. So they this, affects, program this would affect approximately 50 businesses, correct? Um, that, that's close, maybe 40 to 50. I suggest somebody check Bojangles in about two weeks. All right, they've been charging Saluda County rates ten percent. Class action lawsuit there. Yeah, go ahead. Just want to make sure the way to do it is to check. Oh yeah. 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 Somebody, somebody somebody people in the public see this going on, they need to let the town hall know. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. No more questions on number one. Everybody okay with that? All right. Number two is um, effective immediately, there'll be no penalty shall be assessed for late payment of water bills. This also expires 60 days from today, which is June the 5th. In the previous ordinance, you already did. We are not cutting anybody off. So what this is doing is, is this is stopping the late payments from racking up. So the only thing that's going to be over is going to be the actual water bill. Any questions on that? One? That's pretty self-explanatory. All right. Number three is there won't be any late payments for business license fees. This expires on June the 5th of 2020. So in other words, if somebody needs some more time to get their business license stuff in, they can do that up until June 5th. Um, we put the June 5th date on there again. That's the best 60 days also. The one thing I will go ahead and say now with the business license out of this is that there would be a, a, an issue with extending it another month because if you go into July, you're going out of this budget year, and this year's budget will be in the red because you count on the business license money to make up part of your budget. So that's something to keep in the back of your mind. If this thing keeps rolling the way it's rolling, we've got to do some budgetary stuff to extend it past June the 5th. Okay? Does that make sense? We do. If you go past June the 5th, mm -hmm. we're going to have to have some discussions about the budget. Oh, okay. All right. But we're not forgiving we're the not business forgetting. license, so therefore, eventually the money will come in. It will, but, it, it, but what I'm saying is it's due and payable at the latest on June okay. the 5th right now. Okay. Okay. It's actually due now. You're just saying no penalties if you pay it for June 5th. Okay. Um, number four has already been done. We just felt like we needed to put it into an ordinance that y'all blessed but that the town parks, the, the equipment at the town parks are closed for public use, that open areas, tracked and green space will remain open as long as social distancing is observed. And this actually follows along with the governor's order. Even though when he came out with the day, he said the exercise is still okay as long as you have that social distancing. So that um, complies with the governor's order. Chris, on that one, just for clarification, um, because it's a, the, the governor has ordered it, why do we need to include it in, in ours as a... you got to realize when I wrote this was before this afternoon. Okay. <laughs> so it's in there. So it doesn't this, hurt this doesn't have a, a, a date on it like the others do. All of it goes away in 60 days. Okay. All of it goes away. The reason that we put dates on the other one is so when the town sends a letter to the businesses, it's going to have, this is when it stops and this is when it starts, unless you get another date. <coughs> because I don't want somebody out there calculating 60 days and be off a day. You follow me? We need to do it today because we're dealing with tax money. Any other questions about number four? All right. Well, number five, um, the governor has already said that you can do video conferencing unless you have a local ordinance to prevent for, uh, for stopping it. We do have an ordinance that says we cannot do video conferencing. So section 1-3-7 of the Bakersburg Leesville Code of Ordinances is modified to allow attendance at meetings by video conferencing. Votes cast by conferencing will be counted. The town manager is to select an appropriate application to send instructions to council members and staff as to installation and use. And it's up to the individual council member and staff to install and become familiar with the application if they choose to avail themselves of this option. So what this does is it will allow you to go be at home on your iPad or on your computer and video conference in to a regular council meeting also. Well, you shouldn't be having council meetings, no way. We have to have council meetings. The world hasn't stopped. The world hasn't stopped. I didn't, say the, world hasn't, I didn't say the world stopped. 
I said that people, well, people shouldn't be in close. You don't know who has this shit. Well, that's right. why that's why we're doing this is so that you can sit at your house and do it. You can video conference in. Yeah. Is this a 60 day expiration or are we going to, we actually have to go back if we want to make it permanent, we have to change that ordinance. That's correct. This is everything we're talking about is just 60 days. All right. The next one is also dealing with regular meetings of um, section 1-3-5 subsection 6 of the code of ordinances this is suspended until such time as a safe alternative is put into place and i actually put an explanation in here this will suspend public comfort public public comment during regular council meeting until staff is able to provide a safe platform for comments to take place in other words we've got that on our agenda and we need to take that out until we can figure out some way for somebody to have a video and to be able to talk into a meeting if they want to speak on something that's on the agenda. So that's in there to cover the town also. Um, and I went ahead, number seven is basically just saying that the previous, the previous ordinance that we passed, 01, is reacted on tonight. So our 60 days starts over on everything we did before tonight with the old ordinance also. So in other words, we don't have we don't have some different deadlines hitting us down the road that everything that we've done up till now all will end in 60 days from tonight. Does that make sense? But everything your governor um, put into ordinance is for everybody, every state in South Carolina though, right? That's that's correct. Okay. That's correct. All right. But what I'm saying is we the, the, the council passed an ordinance, I guess it's been a week and a half ago now, that had certain things in it. And what I wanted to do by this emergency ordinance is say that that emergency ordinance is recodified in this one so that it, it kicks the end date out at the same time as this one, if that makes sense. Anybody got any questions on any of these? If nobody's got any questions, then Mr. Mayor, it's back to you for motions and All right, do I have a motion to adopt? Motion to adopt as written. Mr. Do I have a second? Second, Mr. Gambrell. Any other discussion? District one? Yes. District two? Yes. District three? If district three votes yes. Four? Yes. Five? Yes. Six? Yes. Seven? Yes. Eight? Yes. And I vote yes. It has been adopted. Thank you. Um, and at this time, I will take a motion to adjourn. Second. And Mr. Kane, second by Mr. Gambrell. Any discussion? District 1? Yes. 2? Yes. 3? Mr. 3 votes yes. 4? Yes. 5? Yes. 6? Yes. 7? Yes. 8? Yes. And I vote yes. We are adjourned. Jay, did you sanitize this?